Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, scholars. It is a marvelous, magnificent Monday, May 4th, 2020. We're going to be focusing on lesson five. If you have not yet received your new packet, please remind your parents that they can pick that up tomorrow on Tuesday and on Thursday for a couple hours. Make sure they call the school. You're going to need this new packet, okay? Welcome to first grade virtual learning. Welcome to a new month. It is May 4th. I hope you're ready to grow your brain. A few announcements, scholars. Um, I'm challenging you all to get the most grow our team. I mean, I ready minutes. Those scholars are receiving things this week as we speak. Um, scholars with the most get epic minutes. Those scholars are receiving prizes this week as we speak, as I speak anyway. And then the scholar with the most grow our team points. Those scholars will receive prizes this week as well. Also, just a reminder, scholars, you've read a total of two thousand books on get epic that is exciting give yourselves a round of applause round of applause keep up the great work scholars keep reading those books that's getting you ready for second or grade second grade we have team captains if you haven't already if you are the team captain you should have gotten a personal phone call from mr cowan himself the team captains are the these scholars have worked above and beyond since we've gone virtual as far as um learning and growing our brains they're submitting their work they're watching every video they're getting the most minutes on iReady, getting the most minutes on get epic they are getting the most grow our team points they are just on it now it is it was difficult to make this decision because there were a lot of scholars in both classes who have been going above and beyond so shout out to scholar number 27 in ashford that scholar is the team captain for this week and shout out to the scholar and isu scholar number nine keep up the great work keep doing your best i'm so proud of you and i'm looking to see who's going to be our team captain for next week objective objective i will decode words with the a sound as in a i and a y digraph wait for the snap If you said, oh, give yourself a point. If you said, A, give yourself a point. If you said, A, give yourself a point. Tricky words. Don't get tricked. Wait, wait for the snap. If you said Mexico, give yourself a point. If you said talk, give yourself a point. If you said hit doll go, give yourself a point. If you said gracias, give yourself a point. If you said Carlos, give yourself a point. If you said Gomez, give yourself a point. Spelling words. Spelling test today. Please pay close attention to these words, scholars. You're going to have a spelling test right after this. So look at these words and do your best, okay? F A D E. That spells fade. That spells. K-N-O-C-K-E-D. -E 
that spells knocked, that spells K-N-I-T-T-I-N-G. That spells knitting, that spells D-R-I-N-K-I-N-G. That spells drinking, that spells P-I-T-C-H. That spells pitch, that spells W-R-A-P-P-E-R. That spells rapper, that spells H-A-N-D-S. That spells hands, that spells B Y. That spells by, that spells. It's time for our spelling test. And you're gonna do your best. Please remember, scholars, do not do your best. Do not cheat. Do not look. Don't 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 do anything that's dishonest. I want you to do your best. You get something wrong, okay, you get something wrong. It's life. We get some things wrong, we make mistakes. Sometimes we don't study, sometimes we don't get it correct. And that's perfectly fine. I just want you to do your best. Right now, in your packet, you should see 5.1 at the top. You should also see today's date, which is Monday, May 4th. So go ahead and turn to that packet. If you don't have your packet right now and you don't have a packet at all, go ahead and get a blank sheet of paper. Pause the video, go get your packet. Pause the video, go get your paper, and then bring it back when you're ready, okay? Number one, next to number one, write this word. Write hands. has five letters, hands. Number two, next to number two, write this word, write pitch. It also has five letters and it has one very specific digraph, okay? Pitch. My friend likes to pitch the ball when we play baseball. Pitch. Next to number three, write this word. Knocked. My mom knocked at the door because she left her keys outside. Knocked. Knocked has seven letters. It has a very important digraph at the beginning and it has a very important digraph at the end. Knocked. Next to number four, write this word. Rapper. Rapper. Rapper also has seven letters. At the beginning, there's a very specific digraph that's needed. In the middle, there's a double letter consonant that's needed. And at the end, there's a digraph that we learned a long time ago. Rapper. Don't get tricked. Please do your best. Next, number five. Write this word. Write knitting. My grandmother is always knitting scarves, mittens, and hats. Knitting. Knitting has eight letters. There's a digraph at the beginning that's special. There's a double letter consonant at, in the middle that's special. And then there's three letters at the end that works together as a team. Knitting. Next to number six, I want you to write. So this is a picture of an author. And typically when you have a book, it will say written by whatever the author's name was. So next to number six, please write the word by. 
This story was written by Cat in the Hat or Dr. Seuss. By two letters only. Next to number seven, I want you to write this word. Write the word fade. The color fades from black to white in this image. Fade has four letters and one digraph. I challenge you to write the symbols to let me know what two letters are working together. Okay? Fade. Next to number eight. All of these kids are all doing the same thing. They are drinking. Drinking. Drinking has eight letters. Okay? Drinking. Now, we are not going to grade that. It's okay. Next Monday, next Monday, there's another spelling test. We'll be gra I will be grading that one. So make sure you do your best. Now, turn the page. If you've turned the page, see 5.2 at the top, scholars, what you are going to do. You are going to look at the images. You're going to look at the, and then you're going to match the image with the proper sentence, matching the picture or the image with the proper sentence. There are two sentences there are, and only one of those sentences is correct. You have to read all of those sentences individually. You cannot... I can't assist you, your mom can't assist you, your siblings can't assist you. So I suggest you pause the video, go ahead and read the sentences, select the correct sentence that matched the image, and then press play and resume the video again, okay? You, there's a front and a back, so it's one all the way through 10. Pause the video, it should take no more than seven minutes. You should do your, you should do fine. Please remember, do your best, you got this. All right, let's keep it moving. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle time. Silently reading. Now, if you want to exit out, you can exit out. All right, Chris, back up, Chris, back up. Who could tell me what it says? Who could tell me what it says? If you said dump it down the drain, give yourself a point. Silently reading. Chris, pop, Chris, pop, Chris, pop. I wonder who knows what it says. I know that scholar knows. I know that other scholar knows too. If you said she had her day in the sun, give yourself a point. Silently reading. If you said, what did you say? Give yourself a point. Silently reading. Remember that punctuation mark at the end means something specific. Make sure you say it when you hear the snap. Good job. If you said, wait for me, give yourself a point. Silently reading. If you said, did we get mail today? Give yourself a point. All right, scholars, time to do some more work. So this is the work that's going to come to Ms. Jackson. What you are going to do, you're going to read the words. You're going to read the, all of these words may have digraphs that we've already learned, digraphs that we just learned. So you should be able to decode all of these words. You're going to match the word with the proper image. Match the word with the proper image. Good. Ms. Jackson will not tell you what these images are because once I tell you that, then you're going to know which word goes under the proper image. I'm looking for some images that some scholars just may not know at all. But it doesn't look like it, actually. So 
do your best scholars this shouldn't take any more than seven minutes pause the video do your best do one through ten independently and then take a picture of it and send it to Ms. Jackson get it got it good all right Today is a good epic day. Your class code is MDA7964. Please try to do at least 15 minutes. Read at least three books. If you can read at least three books, then Ms. Jackson may allow scholars to watch videos. But that's only if everybody has watched three books or have read three books. I miss you guys. Cannot wait to hear from you guys on Friday during my video chat. I will see you guys soon. Have a great Monday. Bye.